see if I can turn it this way so I'm not looking like a confidential informant. All right, walking you through the finding home writing prompts. This one is going to be, uh, let's change that to say finding home. As you're going through, please be sure to read all of the topics. Select one to write about. Write the title of the piece at the top in the yellow box. So in this box, please make sure that you're telling me which of the topics you are going through and selecting. Write in complete sentences, probably about five to six sentences. As you are finished, proofread your work for your correctness, grammar as well. You'll be completing your box right here on the top. So some of your writing prompts, and remember a paragraph has five well-written sentences. Here are some of your paragraph options for you. The first, new experiences. When Lena's family makes the choice to send her to New York City in place of her brother, her life changes dramatically. Do you think that Lena wanted to leave her friends and family in Minsk? How do you think she felt about traveling alone to a foreign country? Describe a time that you had a new experience. For example, moving to a new school, traveling to a new place. How did you prepare yourself for the new experience? Your second prompt, packing dilemmas. If you were going to travel around the world, what would you want to take with you? Consider Lena's packing choices and how they would compare to your own. Select five items that you would pack in your suitcase. For each item, describe how you selected it and what makes it important enough to pack. So this works well for the five sentences, one sentence per item. I think I might pick this one because with all my bike travel, I have to be very cautious and aware as to what I bring. I can't bring everything because anything I bring on my bike, I have to pedal. So I would be probably selecting this option because I can talk to you about what I bring, and what makes sure uh, I take with and what I leave at home. Stranger danger. Throughout part one, Lena encounters a variety of strangers. Consider all the people she met in Ellis Island and in the Lower East Side. How does she decide who to talk to and who to trust? How would you describe the different encounters? Have you ever been in a situation where you need to decide whether or not you could trust a stranger? How did you determine who was trustworthy? Home sweet home. Isaac and Sonia live in a tenement apartment located at 47 Orchard Street on the Lower East Side. Describe their neighborhood and compare and contrast its appearance to your own. Consider the buildings, transportation, and people within your answer. What's the same and what is different? Lena's Diary. Through Lena's eyes, think about your circumstances from the beginning to the end of this part of City of Immigrants. Share your emotions and feelings about each step of the journey. Think about the people with whom you interacted and what you learned from them. Think about the choices you made and the consequences of those choices. Now write a diary entry from Lena's point of view, summarizing what happened to you in part one. You may choose to illustrate an aspect of your diary. And the way that you might illustrate it is to add uh, an image. And you can do that by going up to here, insert image, and then you can search the web for it. Now, I think I'm still locked in. I like this one, packing dilemmas. So up here I would write packing, and then I scroll down to see I can spell dilemmas. Dilemmas, dilemmas. And then I would write my sentences here about what I bring on my trip. And for this one, I might even just go off and put a list of my items. So that's how to do the first finding home writing prompts. Make sure you press submit when you are finished.